Hamtech, welcome back to my videos on the Insta360 Flow Pro AI tracking gimbal for, it actually says for iPhone, but it will work on an Android phone. It has NFC enabled as well. I noticed that if we look to the side here, there is a flap. Open up this flap here. You'll see that you can place a sort of camera shoe adapter there which is perfect with the, the DJI Mic 1 that you can see here. So let's just, just try to get some light on this. So what you do, there's your Mic 1. That's your camera shoe that slips on the back here. It's part of the kit that you, that you purchase, okay? And so it will just slip in here. Quite fiddly to do on camera, but you do have to sort of pull it out slightly and then it will slip in there like that, okay, which is great. Then when you turn this on, comes to life. Turn on your transmitter, they call them, but it's basically a microphone. And now I can either use the magnet or I can pin this to my collar. And you can see if I do, you can see the audio coming in. And then I can just use an adapter cable that goes from here, USB-C, to, 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 to the lightning on the iPhone or your Android phone will be USB-C. And that's it, we're gonna have perfect audio. So if, if I try and use the DJI Mic 2, the new version, so let's just slip that out and try and slip the same shoe in. It doesn't fit because the shoe is basically too close to the outer housing. So let's, I thought what we'd try while we're here is we'll try the same adapter here. This is the adapter you get with the DJI Mic 1, look. It's like there's some room there, it moves. So this is the, the new DJI Mic 2. So let's just see if it fits in there. So I would say it does. I'm not gonna try and fit it in all the way, but I don't feel like we need to because we've got the uh, we've got it in there enough to hold it. So if I just spin it round, you'll see now if I turn that on. Grab my mic two. If you've not used the mic two, it's the the latest one from DJI. This one actually has Bluetooth, so I could effectively Bluetooth it to the, the phone that's connected to this gimbal, just by holding down the orange circle and Bluetooth it. But otherwise, if you want perfect audio, you're gonna need, I think, you're gonna need a, a cable between this device and the phone that you're using with the 360. But, you know, these are, these are, these, these there has been a lot of work put into these devices and the name actually says it all, the AI tracking stabilizer for iPhone. So let's just double clip and we'll show you it working a little bit. And it's quite hard to sort of film this because it's such a long device, but if I just, it's a stabilizer. There's many features on this one to, to select the different features. You just swipe along or you can Pretty sure you can double click and it will move along to the next feature as it goes along on off and record you saw it switching there we've got a trigger on the other side for tracking so if i flick it back to me and it gets see there's a square now and i press the tracking it will now hopefully start to track me and the thing about the the insta device it is trying to track me is that it doesn't need to use the insta app because it's got nfc technology you can see here and so your phone your iphone if i put it down it goes a bit crazy let me just sort this out for you and you can see you've got like a built-in stand at the bottom which opens up so that's very handy So with your iPhone, you just tap the top left corner here. You've also got a zoom wheel for zooming in and out. This actually acts as a battery bank as well as you can charge the device. So that's handy, you can charge your phone. 
You can even power the phone that is at the moment tracking me. And I'm, look, there's a cool trick where if you hit it three times, it flips around. And th th there's apps now where, that help you how to use these because there's a lot to take in with a device like this. Get your cinematic photography, FPV mode as well. You watch this, turning it now. And the, the wheel with the zoom function can also act as a focus as well. As you scroll to the left and to the right, you can choose FPV, follow, auto. There's our trigger. And as you saw earlier, we've got that flap there. It's a very techy looking device, quite chunky compared to the, the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. So yeah, I'm having fun just learning these. And when I do learn, as I learn, I just make videos. And you know me, I'm not an expert. I'm just a person who's having fun with tech. Bye for now, all the best.